So this part of the video is called It Seems As If Dancehall Artist Popcorn Is Not Contented With Being A Rich Famous Person It Seems As If He Does Not Value His Freedom It Seems As If He Wants To Go And Join His Daddy Addy In The Big Yard Based on some incidents that we've heard circulating all over social media. So if you've been living on the rock, the buzzing topic is that Popcorn and his entourage went to some sorts of script club, Tabi, Tabo to be specific, located on Constant Spring Road to be specific. And his intention was to go there looking for Valiant. It seems as if a little birdie told Valiant that Popcorn was on his way or maybe Popcorn sent out some sorts of threats upon social media. You know how these idiots are whenever they are going to do anything, any sorts of crime or any sorts of illegal stuff, then post it and make people know. Say, Listen, we are going for the boy Valiant. This is now 2 a.m. We should be there by 2.15. Giving intricate details, leading a paper trail so that they can go to prison as efficiently as possible. Over sensationalization, exaggeration this is. Based on the information and people, I am quoting from hearsay. I am quoting from what we hear a lot of people on social media, including bloggers saying, now, people, I am not the type of blogger to quote from other bloggers because the truth and the fact is that most bloggers are not credible, including the ones that people deem to be godlike characters. So, me just I say, take what I say with a grain of salt. Therefore, don't carry it to court. It is going to be mostly hearsay. Based on the information that is out there upon social media, it is said that... Popcorn pull up at the script club looking for Valiant. Valiant maybe was spoke. Don't know his frame of mind. Don't know if he had some sorts of appointment to something in the morning. So therefore he had to leave to make sure he reached that appointment. People make it sound as if he was scared. Was he scared? Don't know. Cannot trace in our mind what was going on. It is said that when Popcorn and his entourage went to the club, went to the club, scoped it out, spot a lion, them realized, they ain't no say Valiant not there. So then they think to themselves, well, he is not there. However, he has a few close associates, affiliates, label, record label mates that are there, including the DJ himself, DJ Mac, plays a very important part in Valiant's career. So therefore, he would fit the criteria of being quark or shirt, pants or shoes lace. It is said that Popcorn, don't know if he did it himself or he did it through his affiliates, his yes men, his entourage. They confronted Mr. Mark, DJ Mark that is, and people, again, the reports are conflicting, coming from bloggers, not usually credible source. That this man was rough up, whether him get box up, whether him get some couple ears, whether him get couple clocks and him ribs, whether him get like a stamp down or whatever, don't know the intricate details. Me just a tell you where the people them tell me, the people them, me no know, me can't verify or validate for the people them. It is said that there was a next one that was also there, Armani, I think he is. That is the character that we know that was in some sorts of video about up walk and talk. Based on the information, it is said that Armani was acting as if he did not even know who DJ Mark is. He wanted to have no part or parcel of the whole episode. So therefore, him take for himself, him a looking at the sky, him a look for some sorts of scripper, a dance band, some sorts of pole. He was not seen that his friend was in imminent danger, according to the not so great sources. Now, as to the extent of which Popcorn and Entourage dealt with DJ Mac, that is yet to be determined. I like picture proof, I like video proof, 
I have neither nor me just have where some people say I'm going to tell you all that go long time. Now people, here's the thing. Kenny Roger have a song. It is called The Gambler. In that song, the very important lyrics go something like this. You have to know when to walk away, know when to run. What that simply means is that you have to know when the odds are stopped signif significantly sorry, against you. Therefore, you might end up underground, end up under drip, end up in a place of recovery with a very long recovery procedures. So therefore, know how you thread these dangerous waters. Whenever your hand is in the lion's mouth, be very careful how you take it out or you might end up with a couple of nibbles on it. That sounds kind of why, but you get the point. Now what most persons are saying, it seems as if popcorn is suffering from that syndrome and I don't know the specific terms. Any of you nerds or educated personnel in the comment section can tell me. We're in... If you come from some sorts of A, B, U, S, I, V, E situation as in your mother or in this case your father used to A, B, U, S, E, U physically. As in what is said word out there that vibes cartel whenever he felt like he would call up summons his artists and give them them regular coffins just to make sure they stay in the proper perspective and know the chain of command, know the hierarchy, know say, they are below the world boss, allegedly. So it seems as if Popcorn have that badness genes in him in which he inherited from the chromosome of his father, allegedly. Like they say, the chip don't fall too far from the block. So therefore, Popcorn being the abuse E is now the abuse er, and he is now feeling as if he is a full fledged gangster based on the fact that he is popular, based on the fact that he has money, based on the fact that money is power. And you could get a bunch of yes men or even some men that are bad that want some sort of stripe to impress the boss. To do stuff that would lead them to prison and also lead the boss to prison as a part of a conspiracy for the clottings. So I say this to say that in Jamaica, you and I know once you have money, once you have power, once you have fame, you could get any desperate soul, whether them are badness. Whether them just want to be bad or them smell bad or them feel bad to do stuff to impress them, their boss, sorry, so that they can get a meal tomorrow or the day after. So that they can be in the good grace of them daddy or the 876 God, them call it. Now people, when we hear about stuff like this, and we think, who are the victims? And there's a saying that comes to mind. Doppy knows exactly who to frighten. So therefore, a doppy is not going to frighten a next person if that person can turn that doppy in a worse or a doppy or a doppy to the furthest extent. Fly in doppy bats. When we think about DJ Mac, it is not as if DJ Mac come from some sorts of bad era. It is not as if DJ Mark have some sorts of reputation of being some sorts of gangster. The said can be said about um, Valiant. Don't know him as any sorts of gangster. Yes, now that them have a couple of shillings, they can get people around them that are willing to do anything, including M-U-R-D-E-R, -E put their life on the line for a meal. They see these people as a meal ticket and whatever they need to do to impress the boss. If it even means that they are going to K-I-L-L -L somebody, the opposition and go to prison for the rest of their natural life for a couple of thousands of dollars or some box food, they would do it. 
So I say this to say that. It is not as if Popcorn took on some people, if this is true, or his entourage, that he felt was going to put up some sorts of resistance. Like me say, based on the information that is out there, Fale and Tekwa himself, it seems as if he did not want his combolo, and his combolo was stuck between a rock and a hard place, literally. Now when we listen to all of this, and we think about the fact of Popcorn has a very good career. Popcorn is touring extensively. Popcorn have the best vehicles that money can buy. Popcorn have mansions, mansion on the hill. Popcorn have pretty girls that he would not even see them draws had he not been famous. Why would he want to jeopardize that? Didn't he learn from what happened to his boss, his daddy, the people that he looks up to, the people that boss him in the business? Why would he jeopardize all of this? Isn't that the worst Pennywise and Pound Foolish move one would have heard of or even ranks up there with the worst of the worst of them? And when we look at popcorn statue and people, sometimes people might be little but Talawa. Popcorn is probably about three, three and a half feet to four feet tall. How bad could he actually be? As bad as he could be for the frame that he have, he still, still would not be as bad as the average person. That is how small he is. However, he has a big ego. He has a big wallet. He has a big pocket. Money will make the cow jump over the moon and the dish run away with a spoon. Money moves mountain and it causes yes men and beer to do the most ridiculous thing. And it is obvious by the crime situation that is in Jamaica. So if Popcorn feel as if he may go make people beat him up or him beat up him own self and it won't lead back to him. Remember how the system steer. If Popcorn and him entourage go on a spot and something happen, somebody gets hurt or somebody gets K-I-L-L-E-D, even if Popcorn was in his vehicle getting some sorts of blow blow from one of those scrippers and his friends decide to do something that he had no part or parts or conspired in, then Popcorn is going to be the name that is going to be called up. Popcorn is going to be the mastermind behind the whole thing. So unless, of course, he does not want that needed U.S. visa, he does not want to keep touring and making millions of dollars, he does not want to have these freaky girls blowing him and pretty girls that he could not have gotten had he not been famous. Him think it got easy if him did it and hear say, Tony and I get cock up and jack up X and cross. By some other strange man while he's inside a place with a whole bunch of strange man, maybe some that he knows. People, it makes no sorts of sense. It just shows you this is yet an next perfect example of how stupid, egotistical and foo-foo and bateristic these people are in the dance hall industry. They just do stuff for the hype, do stuff for the gram, do stuff for the social media. And they know the backlash. They know that the popo and the system don't like them already. But they put themselves in even worse predicaments. And what is even more disturbing about the whole thing. Some people that have nothing to do with nothing that are in their feelings. Specifically, TJ, you know, say TJ and Popcorn have a little history of squabble or verbal altercation before. TJ, while he was performing, making some sorts of money, Boko Cash, made some sorts of posts, and I say, nobody can box me up. You know that he was speaking about incidents as it pertains to Popcorn, Valiant, and DJ Mac. So therefore, he is trying to insert himself in the mix of Passa Passa and Blender. So therefore, not only him realize that Popcorn abuzz a trend, he wants a part of the F-U-C-K-R-Y. So therefore, he was doing something constructive, positive, and want to include himself 
force himself into something negative. So therefore, he can get negative result. So therefore, he can jeopardize his life and his freedom and career. All for nothing. You know, sister, them artists here are jackass. You know, sister, the whole of them are some set of baits and I don't even know what to say. People, I'm done with them. They have zero sense. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.